بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا فما بعد my brothers and sisters I want to talk to you today about an extremely important aspect of our lives which is our friends now today the interesting thing is thanks to uh, social media even the word friends has become <laughs> you have facebook friends and you have this friend and that friend and many of the there's a joke which is that this guy he dies and uh, in his funeral there are three people so his mother says but on facebook he had 15000 friends <laughs> and his funeral there are three people so khala khala sahib the reason i'm saying friends is because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned friends in the quran friends are so important that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself mentioned friends in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in in terms of friends allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the word khalil now in the arabic language as you know there are many words for friends there is zamil and there is rafiq and there is you know many things and but khalil is a friend who is so close that uh, literally there are no secrets between these two friends they are very 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 close they they are they protect each other they know each other's secrets uh, that khulla uh, uh, is like ibrahim ibrahim khalilullah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this uh, this title and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that abu bakar would have been my khalil radiyallahu anhu but allah has taken me for a khalil right so this is the level of friendship now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran al akhilla which is the plural of khalil al akhilla yawma idhin بعدهم على بعد عدو ها لبعد بعدهم لبعد عدو الاخلاء يوم اذ بعدهم لبعد عدو الا المتقين now the point is look at the wording of this first of all allah is talking about al akhilla he saying these are the people who in the life of the world were not simply friends they were the closest the dearest right they literally see each other every day and you know you can't live without the person and you miss that person if you don't see them and so on and so on those people on the day of judgment they will not simply ignore each other they will not simply refuse to recognize each other they will not simply say somebody says assalam alaikum they will not say i i will not say wa alaikum no they are enemies to each other right adu enemy now what's an enemy an enemy is someone who wants to harm you right i mean this is this is like extreme this is not simply okay i mean i i knew you now i don't know who you are no 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 this i want you to die i want you to be destroyed i want you something bad to happen to you they will be enemies to, people who were that close will be enemies to each other on the day of judgment illa al muttaqi except the people of taqwa Now what does it tell us? It tells us that one of the most important things to do in this life is to look at our friends list. Who are my friends? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you are on the faith of your friends. You are on the iman of your friends. You will be like your friends. We you know people say you are the, you are the, you are the you are the total of the five people closest to you. So do your own thing. Who are the five people you see on a daily basis? Who are the five people? Just out of the you know, like you're sleeping, somebody wakes you up. Name five people who you love the most. One, two, three, four, five. Who are those five? Right? You are the sum of those five people. Now imagine if those five people are people who are not the best people. Now who are the best people? Alhamdulillah, this is a. the the thing that you know that that strikes me and over and over and over and for alhamdulillah you know many many years now is how complete this deen is wallahi when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said al yawma akmaltu lakum deen lakum sadaq allah allah has completed there is nothing in this deen which is left vacant for someone to come and say well this is my piece i'm going to stick it here no everything is completed you ha- you ask a question the answer is there so is it okay these friends are so important what should my friend be like who should i take as my friend rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned this rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a friend must be somebody 
who when you see him you remember Allah that means the friend reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the friend must be somebody who reminds you of your meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the friend must be somebody who you learn something from something beneficial right so when we look at our friends, we must look at them in this context. This person I'm meeting on a daily basis, does he remind me of Allah or does he take me to Ghairullah? Does it, I mean, the worst case, of course, he takes me to Masya, he takes me to sinning. But even if he does not take me to sinning, what is my conversation? Monitoring conversation is a very good way of, uh, of assessing friendship. When you're talking to somebody, what I would, I'm not saying necessarily that you have to recite Quran to each other all the time. But I'm saying, what is the general conversation? Are you talking money and this and that and you're chasing this and chasing that and what not? Or is the conversation, at least some part of the conversation to say, where is my life taking me? What is the direction I should go? What is the best way of spending my time? Right? What is the, the I, I'm, I'm engaged in certain, some activities. What is the benefit of this activity? What is this conversation? Are you talking about people? This is riba is, is may Allah pro, protect us. I mean, for for a lot of us, uh, riba is social life, right? Our social life is social conversation. It's about people. This one, that one, that one. If it's not individual, then it's it's uh, it's politics, right? This is what so and so should. This king should do that, and that Biden should do this, and this one. What is the good of that? They don't listen to you. You don't know them. What's the point? You're wasting your time talking about things you have no control over. Nothing. So what's the what's the point of that whole conversation? So the best is it's a waste of time. That's the best. And the worst is that it is riba, which means your deeds are going to somebody else. So monitor conversations. Monitor silences. Some of my best and closest friends, I don't speak at all. They don't speak at all. But it's wonderful. You are in their company. Alhamdulillah. You have to say something. You say something useful, that person will say something which is you, you enjoy that, you enjoy something together, we don't talk. <laughs> Companionship is silence. You don't have to chatter all the time. You're not chickens, right? You're human beings. There's no need to chatter all the time. There's companionship in silence. There are some friends of mine, almost, Salaam Alaikum. Sheikh, which, what book are you reading now? What book are you working on now? Which means which book are you writing now? Which book are you working on? Standard question. If, if, I, if I meet the guy, I must have an answer. I, I know this person is going to ask me, what book are you reading now? So either I tell him a lie or <laughs> I should be reading some book, some useful book. Alhamdulillah, I mean, I, th those are the kind of friends who are good because they, they stretch you, right? I mean, so the, you, 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 if you, you know you're going to meet the person, he's going to ask me these questions. <laughs> What's my reading list? It's so very, very important. Some of the closest friends, uh, let me end with that, which is, you take so, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq and Sayyidina Umar Abdul Khattab right? Two of the closest and dearest friends. Also two of the greatest rivals. Sayyidina Umar actually, I don't think Sayyidina Abu Bakr was, was, was in that rivalry, but Sayyidina Umar, what's his rivalry? I must try to do more than Abu Bakr Something better than him. That's a beautiful rivalry. You know, you, you are, you are, your rivalry is in Hasanat. What can I do better than Abu Bakr Siddiq? And there are so many of these, of the different kinds of stories of how they did this rivalry. Like when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was collecting funds for Tabuk, says an Omar comes, Radhiallahu and he says, Ya Rasulullah, half of my wealth I have brought. Alhamdulillah. And then Abu Bakr Siddiq who comes with one small bag. And Sayyidina Rasulullah says, Ya Abu Bakr, what is this? He says, Ya Rasulullah, this is all I have. He says, what did you leave for your family? He says, Allah and his Rasulullah are enough for my family. I mean, there is more to this story, but we leave it at this point. The story of Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab going to that, when, after Sayyidina Abu Bakr passed away, they told him, they told Sayyidina Umar who was the Khalifa, that Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq used to go to this 
place, this, this uh, outside of Madina, there was this hut, camp. And they said every day he would go there, he would spend some time, he would come back. And what did he do? We don't know what he did. He goes there and he finds there is this old woman who is blind. She is almost bedridden. And she is in this tent. She has a couple of goats. and So, Sayyidina Omar realizes that, you know, she has, he has to clean and what not. So, he cleaned up the thing and so on, takes care of the animals. Cooks her food. And then he leaves it there. And there are various aspects. So they said, somebody said, he gave her a date to eat and she said, you are not the person who comes before. You are a new person. He said, why did you ask? How do you know that? He said, because he used to remove the date stone, the seed from the date before giving it to me. In another version, they said, he cooked the food and he left it there. She said, you are not the person. Why? Because he used to feed me. He knows I am blind. So what happened to him? He said, he passed away. So she said, Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi rajiun. Said, the said, do you know who he was? She said, no. He never told me. Said, the Umar says, he was the Khalifatul Rasulillah. He was the Khalifa, he was the ruler. And Said, the Umar sits down and holds his head. And he says, Ya Abu Bakr, you have made it very difficult for us. And the final story, and think about this. In Sayyidina Umar Radhalanu's rule, Sayyidina Umar is walking and he overhears some people sitting and talking and they, those people, they look at Sayyidina Umar Radhalanu and they say there has never been a ruler like this. Sayyidina Umar Radhalanu is the best ruler and he's better than Abu Bakr Siddiq Radhalanu. Somebody says this. Sayyidina, now imagine if, if, if you or I are in that place, right, what would you feel? Uh, somebody who passed away before you and somebody is praising you and saying, Wallah, you are the best, you know, the greatest one. Sayyidina Umar Radhiallahu turns around and he comes back and he says, what did you say? They said, yeah, Amir Mamunin, we said this because, you know. He says, Sayyidina Umar Radhiallahu says, Umar's entire life and every deed, and every deed and, and the life of the whole family of Umar is not equal to one day in the <laughs> life of Umar so don't say this. All my life and all my deeds and all the deeds of my family, everybody together is not equal to even one day in the life of Abu Bakr. This is the meaning of friendship. This is the meaning of friendship. Now, I realize we don't have friends like Abu Bakr and Umar. But Alhamdulillah, there are good people in this, in this world and life. And I remind myself and you, let us... Be with such people. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us such company in this place itself. May Allah bless all of you. Let us find such people. Be with such people. Spend time with such people. Because that's where we learn. And that is where we make dua for each other. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts these duas. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with good friends. Who will be a good influence for us who will guide us to the right path and keep us on the right path and who will correct us when we go wrong because this is another part of friendship. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said a friend is like a mirror. You look at your face in the mirror, you correct your beard and you correct your, your hat and whatever and you know, you look good because that's the friend. He's giving you this feedback. So Alhamdulillah, this is a huge blessing. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to guide us, give us friends like that who support us, who protect us, who will take care of us, who correct us when we need correction, who will support us, who will, who will uh, you know, guide us and who will, uh, will praise us when we need that uh, encouragement, who will encourage us and who will, most importantly, who will make dua for us before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and this is the last point, he said, if you make a dua for your friend, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints an angel to make the same dua for you and he said, the dua of the angel is better than your dua. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us friends who will make dua for us. I request all of you to make dua for me. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our duas and to forgive us and to, to forgive our shortcomings and to uh, be pleased with us and never to be displeased. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al-kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa rahmatika 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 wa rah